All right, so we're checking out the only game that pays you twice for growing marijuana. It's Weedcraft Incorporated. So uh, this is it's kind of a weird turn of events here. Uh, this video is sponsored by the folks over at Weedcraft Incorporated. I'm getting paid to get paid to grow weed to get to get paid to sell it. You you know what I mean? In it, you play a young man who, after two years of trying to get his degree in business, realized that college is dumb and a sham. He actually did a lot better than me because it took me four years. Continue game, damn it. As Commissioner Gordon looks at us askant, uh, I'm gonna take a moment to mention that, I mean, it's like any other tycoon game, right? What's the big deal? Uh, I don't know, we've made money selling other drugs that were, you know, this legal in places. A lot of people probably play this game to make the best weed. I want to see if we can go to jail. One of my big goals is to get swatted. <laughs> that sounds pretty bad, but I'm really curious at how that works. Former MBA student. This guy figured it out. After you pay $500 for a book in college, you begin to realize that something's wrong. You'll notice all the various customers that we have, such as Snaggletooth Joe. I like how there's just a demonic cat resting on his shoulder like a parrot. Marketplace illegal. I paid like $500 to set up shop here. This is bullshit. I'm pretty sure I got some sort of license or something from the government, whatever. Let's go make some weed. One of my best customers, old Snaggletooth, wanting to buy the Reggie. I think I wasn't followed. Do you have the stuff? I hope you were followed. I don't know how many rooms there are to this house. I just purchased another one to sell more weed in. Where are we having breakfast and stuff? Am I just having it on top of all of the pots? Oh, I have the medical license for my, my orange haze or yellow haze or whatever it is. It's the family home that's illegal. Good. Hey everybody, Weed Ross over here. Uh, just reminding you that you don't want to take too much off, you know, it's just, uh, you want to take a little liquid white and slowly peel some of the dead bits and pieces off of your delectable garden salad. This is also known as Grass Growing Simulator, as you legitimately get to see the grass grow. The jocks are all over this lemon haze stuff. I'm gonna tell you what, you could put the price at damn near anything you want and they'll buy it. I think the only two things the game said they spend money on is beer and weed. Maybe women as well, I'm not really sure. I don't think it went into that. You have to cut so many damn plants, it's like playing DDR with this game. Oh, the artwork in this game. It feels good to see the fruits of your honest labor, even if it is illegal. Mmm, <laughs> honesty and illegality. Bumps, these are these are Abraham Lincoln level quotes you're giving, buddy. Sean's bunch is lurking around looking to sell weed in the city where we uh, kind of like lay our head. I like that the options here are advise us or can we dispose of them? <laughs> this is appropriate business level thinking. Oh my God, you gotta start friggin' messing with the nitrogen, the phosphorus and the potassium. I never expected there to be so much science selling weed in a video game. So there's a bunch of different strains of the stuff that you can make and they have different qualities and things like that. One of them is two buddies banging and it says higher libido. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to recognize all the various things that we keep inside of our basement. Besides the homage to Jamaica, uh, we also have a toilet seat and a axe. Why is the axe down here? I think the biggest question that this game begs to ask is where are vagrants getting $800 to spend on weed a day? I finally got my DDR dance moves at maximum. Mmm, perfect. The vagrants now have over $1,100 to spend on weed. Simple soil gets us more police vigilance. Change all the soil. Up to $1,200 a vagrant nowadays. They're buying the Northern Lights and the Reggie. I'm growing your granddad's weed now. I don't know what exactly it does. It was expensive and the quality's pretty damn good. Is it me or was Super Lemon Haze way better than the last time? Oh. It's way better. Tell your police friends. I got a new level. For my level, I got a small fan. It looks like you would lose a finger in this thing. We couldn't even afford the blade guard. We also got a Super Mart room lamp for extra skin cancer. Set the temperature in the family grow room to 69 degrees. Really? 69? Just like a real tycoon game. You have to hire employees. <laughs> We got Dr. Evil over here, otherwise known as Mark Diaz. Lydia Pierce. Lydia's the only one skilled at plant management, so I, I guess you're hired. Small air purifier reduces police vigilance. Why would I want to buy this? Yes, 
Fido <laughs> Steve Polanski? Really? This is the name of the officer they give me? What is this father time over here? This guy's in the back end of his friggin' pension plan. I know what's going on in there. You always have people come in and leave it real quick and it smells like someone ran over a skunk. I feel like there's a way to turn this into some sort of brutality issue. I just haven't figured it out yet. I killed one. <laughs> yes! Find a way to lower your profile. That's that's a negatory, Mr. Polanski. It's fantastic to see you, and I hope to have a few more of your friends with flashbang grenades here later. There's a perk for donating to police functions so you can increase your relationship with the police this game. <laughs> Oh, sweet. Steve Polanski's back. Greetings, sir. May I take a moment of your time? No. <laughs> okay, then. Goodbye. <laughs> Lydia gained experience. The growing part is the hard part, so please take more. So, you can buy a side business. We have the hotel where you're probably going to get stabbed by hypodermic needles, and the hotel where you're going to get stabbed by slightly cleaner utensils. I'm gonna pick this one. This one says life's okay. Sure. Great. The police are now patrolling all around here. This cop's pretty chill though. He's like, while I personally am an enthusiast, it's my duty to advise you. Yeah, don't worry. The next police ball, I'll, I'll throw some cash at you guys or something. We've gotten way too many suspicious reports. <laughs> Whatever. I'm making stacks over here. You guys want to come arrest me? I guess go ahead. Okay. I just went over to the employee area. What the hell is this? This girl looks like she's 14. You're hired. <laughs> so we can have a tea room, a pizza restaurant, a g what? A game studio? Okay. I only have the money for a tea room. Whatever. Well done, Sophie. You gained some experience. Do me a favor. Stay in school. What is this? What is this doing? Is this- is this me paying the police under the table or something? Well, the police are coming to my house like every day now. I've got a high schooler, I think, working for me. She takes better care of the plants than I do. This game's a friggin' trip, man. So some time has passed and I found uh, the ways to make stacks of cash. But I had to pause for a moment in my weed growery. For this friggin' triple A Oscar winning dialogue. Hello there, I have a concern. Someone's written Steve Polanski loves fisting on a wall nearby. Do you happen to know anything about it? <laughs> oh, thank God, I, thank God I donated to the Veterans Fund. Okay, so anyway, what I was gonna say is I've made friggin' stacks. The way you do it is you only have one damn employee. You grow one type of weed in each facility, and damn, you can make some money if you just let time go by and let the girl take care of the growing and you take care of the selling. This is my grandpappa purple area right in here. You boys like grandpappa. <laughs> Well, I know the average Joes do. I have no idea what the best, what the best friggin'. These things are randomized, so it's even worse for old Gray. Cause I'm bad enough with science and math as it is. Since the randomized, I just kind of throw this crap everywhere and hope it sticks, man. In the end, it's weed, right? I mean, everyone. It, they, these, these guys will buy it even if it's friggin' garbage. This right over here is my super lemon haze area. Super lemon haze is a hell of a money maker. I appreciate that I've graduated from whatever it was like MBA dropout to stoner. Look at this man, super lemon haze and granddaddy purple. Everyone loves this stuff. So before I continue to get us eventually raided here, I'm about to uh, reach a new low. I'm gonna see if I can convince our girl here to steal a strain of marijuana from our competition. <laughs> I give you $8,000, nice. Sophie Spencer. Man, this is my best employee. Again, I'm pretty sure she's in college. Or she was in college. Title, lucky schmuck. It just keeps getting better, man. Got 20 grand for that, too. I could get decent perks, but I don't want to. Okay, this lighting solution is gangster as hell. Finally, I'm getting raided. And it took forever. As a kid, he thought firemen were cooler than policemen. That's, I think that's basically everyone feels the same way. Ain't nobody got time for this. You ain't getting in this damn house. All right, we got, we got the red meter getting way the hell up there. I'm making sales left and right. Oh, I'm double fisting money now. The hell, I'm a big dealer already? Jesus, another 25 grand. Okay, I guess we're going national. Get a freaking CO2 bag now. Holy Jesus. True OG. I gotta buy it. Okay, so Boulder, it's more legal. Fargo, it's less legal. Fargo it is. <laughs> Finally! Hello, I dropped by to officially inform you that the police officers in the city won't be taking this shit anymore. I've had to talk about people and we won't be taking any more handouts. Yeah, whatever, lady. 
Her favorite color is olive green. <laughs> she hates Flint and all of its inhabitants. Why are you even here? I can sell 300 grams to this lady for her show Bake with Blake. <laughs> A little cannabis infused cookies, absolutely. We don't even care. We do whatever we want. Police or no police. I'm just selling like crazy. People are choking on this stuff. I got freaking a kilo almost of marijuana at this point I'm prepared to sell. I've almost got the five star wanted rating, baby. I told you, man, I'm pumping out so much of this stuff. It is flying everywhere. Police officer warning, you shut your mouth. What does it take to get arrested in this city? Like getting arrested is exhausting. <laughs> Got another big order done. Boom. Oh, this shit sirens, baby. I think we're finally getting raided. It's fine. Everything's taken care for. Oh, I want to go. I want to go straight into the cops. I want to know what happens. Eh, don't worry. It's fine. What's the- well, you're, le you're leaving us? I'm not leaving. I'm not going- Oh my god, a boy is rested. The plants were lost. It was a raid. <laughs> what did I- what did I complete? I'm sorry, my employee got arrested. She was such a good employee, too. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I guess I'm doing everything alone now. It's fine. I finally got what I wanted. We got raided. We got our stuff took. There's a million new plants for us to get. But Purple Haze... And, uh, Grandpappy Purple finally bit us in the ass. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of WeCraft Incorporated, where you too can get flashbanged by the police. Anyway, folks, until next time, stay foxy much love. <laughs>